Hey y'all, Matt here with Grafted Branch Homestead. Okay, so this is the area that this rain barrel is gonna go, and I'm putting it in. So it's 15 inches uh, on the bottom here, and I do wanna make sure that my base has a little bit of overhang, but I don't want it to interfere with the fittings. And so I think we're gonna do 20 inches. So I need uh, four, let's see, I need four 20 inch pieces. want it done right obviously so it, it's not going to topple over you're going to be putting a lot of weight on this um, so I believe water is about eight pounds per gallon and this is a 55 gallon drum oops sorry the camera wasn't even in view there okay so I went ahead and I cut two of the 20 inch pieces I need to cut two more of these um, if you're off just a little bit, that's okay. You don't want to be off a whole lot, obviously, because you're going to be putting a lot of weight on it. I believe uh, water weighs eight pounds per gallon or so, and this is a 55 gallon tank. So you're looking at our drum. So I, uh, uh, quick math in my head is going to be over 400 pounds, I believe. Anyways, this does need to hold some weight. So we got two of them and let's grab another board and we'll get two more here. And so this could be done with pallets. I was actually trying to get some pallets here that are available to me uh, to use for this project. Um, I do drive a small vehicle though, and so that can be challenging. And I just wasn't able to get them here um, in time. So I do have a little bit of this lumber that was in the shed. It's a little bit warped and twisted. So it was a piece I didn't want to use just a whole board on something um, but cutting it up here should work fine there we go and because i just kind of free cutting as i do most of these i can use my, uh, my tool here as a to help keep it straight so i'm using this two by four then for the sides and the top i'll use two by four and then I'm gonna use the two by six for the legs, as well as, uh, I think I'm gonna brace the bottom of it as well. Just because it is heavy, I don't want it to bust on me. I saw you can buy these bases uh, for like $100, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Right now, lumber has come down, so this two by four, when I bought it, it was about four bucks, and so. I'll do a couple of those. I could probably make the whole thing for under $20 is my guess. So normally I'd be using a table or something, but so I can film the video, we'll do it right here. And so I'm gonna lay one piece down. As you can see, this I'll put on top. I'll take my other side here, and instead of putting it right there, we'll put it on the end. And then this board here, 
Uh, since that one's on the end of the, the cross section here, I'm gonna take this and put that like that. And that is because of the size as well. And so when you do it like this, because they're all the same size cuts, um, they'll fit together nicely. You're not gonna get a weird shape. Okay, so if you can see that pattern, there we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and screw it all together. Okay, got my pattern. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna be using some outdoor deck screws. Uh, these are gonna allow it to hold more weight. Um, these are three inches long, uh, so that's gonna be good support. And we'll just start by picking a side. I am not using a treated wood here. I probably should be. Um, I actually haven't treated, used treated wood really in any of my builds because we don't get a whole lot of rain here. Um, although these monsoons have been making me think I probably should be using some of that, uh, possibly at least heat treated wood. Um, I don't really want the chemicals, that's why I don't use it. But uh, this is not, our project today will not be and so I'm building it this way, and then I'm just gonna put a, lens, a linseed oil on it um, to help protect it that way. This one, the really difference is this one just won't last as long. Um, if I was using a treated, it'll last a lot longer. There we go. And so this project that costs, or this little thing that's costing you like a hundred bucks on Amazon, maybe 75 on Etsy or something. I'm gonna build here for maybe 20 bucks. Um, I mean, for me, it's, I had the screws, I have the boards and all that, so it's free. But if you were to go out and buy um, the materials, it cost about that much, so. That's a plus. And then when I finally do get to pick up those pallets, I'll be able to use those for a different project. There we go. And so now we have a solid top for our barrel to sit on. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put the legs on and then we will put the cross sections. So let me grab that barrel. That looks good, good size. All right. Okay, so we're gonna be putting that barrel over here. The barrel itself is 38 inches, uh, plus the base of the boards that I'm gonna put on top of our structure is two inches. Um, and so I was looking at wanting to do the base about two foot high, but that's gonna put the top of my barrel way up on this pipe. So putting it at about a foot high would put the uh, top of it right here, and then the, or the, the base that we just built right here, and then the top two inches higher than that. We place our 38 inch barrel on top there. That's gonna put the top of the barrel right about here. And I think that's a, a pretty good height. And so we're gonna do those legs at one foot. So the board I'm gonna... Got four legs. Okay, so we got our, our four four by sixes, or I'm sorry, two by sixes cut at 12 inches each. These are going to be attached on the inside of our frame. And so we will attach all four of these in here just like that. And I am gonna attach them all on the same side. I don't know if that matters or not, but uh, they will be screwed through um, just about like that. I'm not gonna.
There we go, and I'm not sure that microphone was on, so if you guys haven't been able to hear me, I do apologize. And so I'll just go ahead and reiterate a little bit in case I wasn't able to be heard. So what we did was we took our legs that we had cut yesterday, screwed those on uh, using the deck screws into the corners there, and I cut a 14 inch brace board um, to put along the back that goes between the two legs here, just so you're not gonna get any of them kicking out uh, along the house there. So we're gonna put some deck screws in to here. Okay, so we got the legs on, we got our top built. There's that bottom brace board. Again, I'm not using the pressure treated wood or heat treated wood, the treated wood. Although I probably should for this project, so I do recommend that. I am using what I have here. And so we got our base built. It's pretty sturdy. Obviously I don't weigh 400 pounds. <laughs> but we'll do a super safe test. No wiggly. Awesome. Okay, and so what we need to do now is build our top deck to it, and we'll put the barrel on. And I have ordered the brass spigot that's coming in, um, but that's gonna sit right on top, just like that, so it'll work out nicely. Okay, so we're gonna wanna cut our cross boards here, and I'm gonna do them to overhang about a half an inch on either side. And uh, so that's gonna be, let's see. So if I cut them at 22 inches, that should work out well. Okay, we're gonna improvise here a little bit. So I'm actually out of two by four. I could possibly do one more of these, um, but I do have more of the two by six. So in your project, you could either carry out the two by fours, that's what you wanted to do, but I'm gonna put the two two by fours on the end like that. And I think I'm gonna put two two by six planks in here. And we'll just use what we have, and it's not really gonna affect it. If anything, probably strengthen it. I'm going to leave the spacing, you don't have to do that, but I'm doing that in case water or things do need to seep through. Okay, and so I am going to go ahead and drill the holes and screw this down, these boards down, and a light sand just to get off any of the markings. Um, don't really have to, but more so I really want to get the edges just so there's no real rough spots or burrs or things like that. Um, and so I'll give it a quick sand and we'll linseed oil it down. Um, to help protect it that way. Okay, great, I found my bit, and this is a good time to throw in a plug about organization and the importance of it and how I need more of it. <laughs> okay.
Got our legs on. This thing's not the lightest. Uh, but that's it right there and so we'll give it a light sand and a lint seed oil and then it will be ready to go in its spot so we'll just check the finish up there. all right so i'm back again here and uh this morning we're going to be sand uh, just kind of lightly sanding down the base to get rid of any of the uh, lettering and things like that on it um, to power this, I'm out in my backyard though, and I uh, don't really have the, the house power out here. Um, so I am going to be using my Blue, Blue Yeti uh, EB3A, and excuse all the urban sounds there. But we are gonna see if this will power up my sander and how well that's gonna work. So first we are gonna turn it on. So we'll hold down for the AC. There we go. So we got that on, I do believe. And we'll plug into it. We're at 100% charge. Let's see. So I don't know if you can hear. Looks like it's sitting around 200 uh, watts there. We've only used 7% on our device there, so still at 93%. This thing is amazing. So I'm gonna put this back down here. All right, so we got light sand. We got off any, you know, real rough spots, any burrs or uh, words or lettering. And so the last thing we're gonna do is put some linseed oil on this and let it dry before we get it hooked up, finish up our rain barrel and install it all. All right, so we're gonna use uh, some boiled linseed oil to um, kind of protect uh, this um, base from the water and the elements and whatnot. Um, you can use uh, other protectants and things. I like to stay away from the harsher chemicals. This is a more natural approach. I'm also using this because this is what I'm going to be using on my fence and the quail shack um, in and around the garden and animals. So I want to use something more natural for that so you're not getting chemicals leaching in the soil and whatnot. And so we are going to use it on this project to go ahead and get a feel for it. Um, so uh, to apply it, I'll use a brush and rollers for the bigger ones. This is a smaller project, so I'm just going to apply a good coat of it with the paper towels. Allow about five to ten minutes for that to dry and then wipe it down again. So. All right, so we have our base here. We've uh, covered it in linseed oil. I let that sit for about 10 minutes. And uh, 
Now it is dried and we're going to put it in place. So this is the downspout that uh, this particular barrel is going to be going. And so I've somewhat leveled it out. And so again that brace we put on the back there, that's for the back. And this is going to go all the way up against the wall. Now I'm not going to be able to push it up against the wall until I cut this. And that will be in part two of this video where we uh, upgrade our rain barrels um, spout and um, overflow. And so for now we're just going to get that basic basically okay. set so We there. got it where it's going to go. It'll just be up against the house. And as soon as we cut that, the barrel's going to go right on top just like that, and then we'll divert the water into it. I think that's gonna work out nicely. All right, so that's gonna conclude this small part of the video in the, um, build, the base build for the rain barrel. So make sure you check out part two for actually the rest of this bit, video where we talk about the rain barrel, as well as upgrade it, get it running and in place. So hit like and subscribe, and as always, stay strong.